ash fell from the sky and killed the potato crop when Mount Niragongo erupted in May last year. You can see the volcano from John Nakazeye's house in Kasheke in the east of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 10 kilometers from regional hub Goma. It is an ever-present threat to his livelihood. Ash from Niragongo falls here regularly on my field. Look at how my crops are destroyed. I don't know if I will have much of a harvest. I invested in this field to provide for my family, but because of the Niragongo eruption, I will have nothing, and I have not received any help. There is ash everywhere, even in the drinking water tanks. Villagers live in constant fear of another eruption. The Goma Volcano Observatory measured intense volcanic activity in the region since the beginning of the year. Now, a lake of lava has formed in the crater. There is already a permanent lake on the volcano, and we are going to experience a situation where the lava lake will continue to build up inside until it reaches a critical level. At the moment, the level is still low, but it is there in the central crater. This is clear information. But authorities haven't raised alert levels yet. The observatory is installing other seismometers to monitor the situation more closely. I am leveling the seismometer. The seismometer is the sensor that records earthquakes. When there are vibrations in the ground, it will be recorded by the seismometer here, which has to send the signal from these cables here to the device that we call a recorder. The volcano erupted on May 22nd last year. 30 people were killed and several hundred houses destroyed. Many people fled over the nearby border to Rwanda. As the experts keep watch, residents wait, fearing the worst for the next outburst.